The Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct aired earlier today, bringing a ton of new information on the game. So naturally, we put together a list of big notable details. So without further ado, here are 12 big details that you might have missed about the game. Number 1. Bowser is the castle. Bowser, his Koopa Clown car, and the Flower Kingdom castle in the background all fuse together with the Wonder Flower. That doesn't just look like Bowser on the front, that's literally his face. Number 2. Kamek makes an appearance too, and he'll likely be a boss battle, just like we see with Bowser Jr., which is pretty standard for the recent 2D Mario games. Number 3. We have Fire Daisy for the first time ever. Daisy has never been in a traditional Mario game with power-ups before now, so she's finally able to use some of these new abilities, hence the excitement behind Fire Daisy. Number 4. There are 7 expansive worlds. Each world is not tied down to one specific theme. World 1, for example, has more than just grasslands, with also forests, while World 2 has snow levels and sky levels. Plus, the Petal Isles aren't a numbered world, probably because they don't have one of these special wonder seeds to collect. And when we say expansive, just look at World 1. There's so much to do here. Number 5. Secret Exits are back. Preview footage from various outlets such as Eurogamer show a red flagpole at the end of a level, signifying a secret exit to a level. Plus, the second level of the game may have a secret exit, since it has two paths coming out of it, one of which leads to a warp pipe. Number 6. New Types of Old Enemies We saw the Melon Piranha Plant get a special spotlight in the Direct, but what about these Fire Spikes? Could there be any other enemy variants like these? Number 7. You can swing off of some enemies We knew some enemies could be grabbed, but it seems you can also swing off of some of them like vines. Funny enough, this is also how they get defeated. Number 8. Up to 12 players can be in an online room, and there are 12 total playable characters. Perhaps each character can only appear once in each room, meaning that if you play with 11 other friends, 5 players will need to play easier characters. Number 9. You can select recommended badges. There's a button down here that lets Prince Florian choose the badge you'll equip for the level. This might be helpful if you're struggling with a level, and aren't sure how to improve. Prince Florian may pick a badge best suited to help with that level. Number 10. Captain Toad is on the world map. There's even a path up to him from a yellow pipe. So is he some sort of special level or an interactable character? Does he reward the player with something for coming to talk to him? Number 11. Collecting Wonder Seeds opens the Bowser Castle. We can see a large Wonder Seed is used to dispel one of these cloudy piranha plants surrounding Bowser's castle. These are probably collected from the end of each world, so clearing the worlds slowly open up the final one in Bowser's castle. Number 12. A Super Mario Land 2 reference. This Space Wonder effect is very similar to the Space Zone level in Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Coins, and that makes me very happy. And with that, those are 12 big details that you might have missed from the Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct. It is exciting to learn more about this game, but what do you guys think? Spot any big details that we missed? Let us know down in the comments below, and stay tuned to Gamersplain for plenty more on Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Until next time, farewell.